mind, the wine, the life, the mind, the time, the bell, the chair, the end, the hell. Music transcends into so many different things. Trying to wake up, yo, we know is what it seemed. Creativity is the lifeblood of any artist. I hear a sound, I hear something, and I think I want to fuse these styles together, or I want to make something different. On this journey, I'm the storyteller of the story that's being told. Something different is Jay Salter. He is embedded in bringing old school beats to life. Classic hip hop going back to the late 80s. Yes, I said the late 80s. Growing up to like Egyptian Lover and um, break dancing and all that stuff. You know, LL Cool J, uh, Run DMC. This is the music that I like the most. Piece by piece, he's built his own studio. studio. Bar by bar, bar, he tells his own story. It don't happen overnight. This definitely don't happen overnight. Music is his first love, though you might be familiar with his other love, other, where he moved he the needle in a different way. My little baby? No, this is not my baby. This is this is a mom mother. Telling his story, his story from behind the viewfinder. View I see things as well as hear things, and so for so he, I kind of feel like um, the two go together. Get this photo, like his music, music captures a moment in time. My photography is always inspired by his album covers. It could be any type of covers. It all began when he borrowed his wife's camera. From there, I ended up getting a better one, a Sony, and got really into it more. But as life would have the opportunity to allow his passion to ignite, ignite was snuffed out. On a cold San Francisco day, Jace was robbed. All of his equipment, both for music and photography, gone. From there, so many people in the community really helped me. One of them was a woman who gave Jace her late husband's camera. This is a Leica M3 original in its leather casing. I've been using it since. That's how I got into film photography, was, was using like a 1.4, 50 mil. With that camera, his passions were reignited. I do it because it's something that I'm, I feel, and I would just post it and people liked it. He documents the world around him. Streets of San Francisco. Both from the perspective of a lens and the beat of his own drum. drum. Forgive me if I'm pleading, I'm screaming. It's a part of who I am and the, the, the pains that I've gone through, the sufferings, all of the, the mistakes, the wrong decisions, all of the, the, the difficulties and struggles. That's a whole another interview. Today, he's released his first album, a culmination of war of over the last decade. With some Gen X rappers, producers out here in Santa Clarita. Called a documentary time because of the purpose. It's like I'm documenting all the time that I've spent in the internet. It goes back to, you know, 10, 20 years. Year. The beginning of a story of a has reached the iTunes chart. But it had like, you know, Lil Wayne and all those big guys, Jay Z, in front of me. I opened it up later that night, it was 55. And I was like, wow. I was like, that's interesting. I'm like, that's pretty cool. Cool for a guy who finds himself in the lifeblood of two, two forms of art. If that's where God wanted it, then there's a reason for that. And maybe for me just to feel, you know, um, worthy of just even loving myself in life. In Santa Clarita, I'm Ivan Day.